TSA, your airport security. We're here to make sure that you have a safe flight by using your fingerprint, your palm, and your eye. A fingerprint sensor has two basic jobs. It needs to get an image of your finger and then needs to determine whether the pattern of ridges and valleys on your finger match the pattern of ridges and valleys on a pre-scanned image. No fingerprint is ever saved only. Altered and saved as an encrypted biometric key or a mathematical representation. No image is ever saved, only converted to binary, which is a series of ones and zeros. A fingerprint sensor is much more accessible than a password because you'll always have your finger with you. You can't duplicate a fingerprint and the algorithm cannot be reconverted into an image so no one will ever steal your fingerprint. Let me introduce the palm vein reader. The palm vein reader is a type of vascular technology that is capable of identifying someone um, through biometrics. So what you would do is place your palm two inches above the, the machine the palm vein reader, and would you like to explain how it works? So the palm vein reader works by firing a laser from the device into your skin and it bounces off the hemoglobin and reflects back into the camera and it processes that data and it finds out who you are you can't really pick it. And also something that uh, us humans are really lucky is that we are born with an identification. We kind of have an identification card inside of us and it's called veins. Veins, no matter how sick you are, um, no matter if you ever get a disease, veins never change. Veins will stay the same, just like your fingerprints. So in this case, palm vein reader is really effective because veins are 100% pretty much yours and that's all yours, nobody else's. And so, this, only, yeah. this only has a fail rate of 0. .0008 chance of failing, so it's nearly 100% accurate. Yeah, you heard that? It's crazy how something inside something so of us advanced. yeah it could like like identify someone and it's called biometrics retina scans require that the person remove their glasses place their eye close to the scanner stare at a specific point and remain still and focus on a specified location for approximately 10 to 15 seconds uh, until the scan is completed a retinal scan involves the use of a low intensity coherent light source which is projected onto the retina to illuminate the blood vessels, and then they're photographed and analyzed. A coupler is used to read the blood vessel patterns. Um, contrary to common belief, uh, retina scans are not harmful to the eye at all. So it's uh, unintrusive and it's not harmful to the passengers boarding um, their, their flights. A retina scan can't be faked currently, and it's impossible to forge a human retina. Also, the retina of a deceased person decays too rapidly to be used to deceive a retina scan. Um, a retinal scan has an error rate of 1 in 10 million compared to a fingerprint error, being sometimes as high as 1 in 500. This process is slow but it's extremely accurate and it's worth the wait. The process in which we'll introduce these scans to the passengers will go as follows. First, the passengers will be required to go through a retinal scan and then um, as they progress through their check-in at the airport, they will go through a palm scanner. And finally, when they're about to board the plane, we want them to um, have a fingerprint scan. And this is, um, all happening while we're cross-checking their identities to ensure that they they are what they say they are. So at the end of the day, we just want our passengers to be safe and ensure that no identities are fake during uh, the check-in process at the airport. So the new piece of technology they have at LAS, the Palm Bank Scanner, is just so much more convenient for like the everyday traveler. It's just instead of having the hassle of pulling out your wallet, just going and pulling out like your driver's license, your ID, and your chat and your passport, you just show up two inches above the palm vein scan reader and it just reads you, it knows who you are, there's practically no chance of it failing. It's just so much more easier and convenient. It makes the whole process of travel just so much more easier.
Yeah, ha hey. Uh, yeah, I'm in New York already. Yeah. Yeah, I just got here. But yeah, guess what? So LAX has like this new like technology that's like really crazy and really like efficient. It's like I don't really have to like show all my papers like my identity. I don't have to show my birth certificate, my passport, my ID, another school ID, this and that. Like it's crazy. All I had to do was really like put my palm like on top of a machine. I, I think it was called a palm vein reader and like they let me through. I guess like some type of identification and I really liked it because I don't have to like just wait like an extra 10, 20 min minutes like to get accepted and like get my papers checked and everything. It's really so efficient. Like, you should try it out soon. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.